What's up guys, welcome back to another album, album review. And this time it's going to be on the 2008 record from, from your shot, of course, the, the last studio album that, it, that, they made, that they made called Silverline. Now this one is my, my, least, fav my least favorite because, you know, one of, them ha one of them has to come in last, you know. And it's this one, it's the Silver Lining. I mean, this album only, only only had one single from it, Misunderstood, which is the third track. I mean, the album's not, like, bad, but, but like, but, but we'll get to that. It's just, it, it, it's just some of it's kind of, like, kind of, like, a bit bland, but, yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into, let's get right into this track's tra closer track one. Now, it, is, it is like your standard rocker. It's not really... I wouldn't normally say this, but there's not much to, the, to, to, this, to this song, except for it starting off the album pretty, 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 pretty good. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry for that. I, I kind of got distracted. I, I kind of got distracted because there was a car outside doing whatever. Like you know, yeah. Say, say back to this song. I mean, the 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 riff in the, the riff in it isn't bad, and you know, but the chorus is just like you know, repeating a little bit closer. Like you know, for from 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 from, from most of it, it's not it's not a bad song though. It's, it does start it, it it does start the album off pretty, pretty nicely. Now we have "Don't Hate Me" track track two. Now this is in a similar vein to close to way closer was, where you know the riff is really but it, but, it's, but it's not the best like ever. You know. The riff, the riff sounds, the riff doesn't sound bad at all, and the chorus has that same repeating of the song. Don't hate, don't hate me, don't hate me, yeah, stuff, yeah, like that. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty hard song for the most part. Next, I probably have my favorite song. I have this record with, with for the single, misunderstood. Track, track, track. Now this riff is a. Uh, no, the, 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 the riff in the song really catches really catches my attention. Catches me kind of like that, 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 you know what I mean. And the vocals do do sound well. Uh, the other two, the other two, the other two songs on the other two songs they didn't sound bad or anything, but but just like you could do better. You know, you needed you need some work done. Well, the, the, what am I saying? He needed to, he needed to Im, improve on those songs, you know? I guess I misunderstood is my favorite track off this record. And moving on, track four. Track four, wait, so this one's kind of about like Hollywood. And, and you know what happens there and stuff like that. And, he, and you know the rest. Yeah, yeah the the riff is decent, and the vocals don't, don't sound bad at all. Okay, track five, sometimes. Sure, track five, sometimes. This one is my good one, too. It's, it's not my favorite. It's not, it's, not really, it's, not, it's not really one of my favorites, but it's it's a pretty decent song. Next up, we have I Hate You, track six, Well. This one has a pretty good riff too, but but you know it's kind of got a cliche line where like I'm giving you this letter that says I says I hate you. It's, it, it, it's honestly a bit cliche, not gonna lie. But the song is but the song is not bad whatsoever. It's a it's, it's, it's a pretty nice it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice song. Now we have another really awesome song, song on here, track seven, more than more than one. Now this riff. Is probably just as good as a, uh, you know, the one I misunderstood because he, you know, it's got a tin 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 thing, thing to it. And yeah, 
sorry, I don't, I don't have much to, I don't, I don't have much to say about this record today. I'm sorry, it's kind of a bit, kind of a bit rusty since I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done this in like, like almost two weeks. So I, I, I just got a bit lazy. It's, you know how it is. I just, you don't feel, you don't feel like doing, doing something. Let alone for two weeks. I'm sorry, though. I'll, uh, it's just. It's, it's it's just a habit that I have where I well mainly because well I I I had to get a bit off track here but my my video to, to subscriber subscriber ratio is pretty big because I have like cause like cause I have like 500 videos but, but I felt like that was cluttering it up too much and putting stuff in that didn't didn't like belong there or whatever so I deleted some some videos like older videos that I that, that I did on this channel. Some that, some that, some that, some, some that didn't really, you, you, you know, get anywhere. Because, like, you know, I didn't, didn't want to have, like, you know, a whole bunch of videos, but, like, I can only few views. So, 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 which is ironic, because back when I, back when I was just starting out on this channel, I had, like, three, and then I had, like, what, ten videos or, ten videos or, or something? No, it was, like, more than, it was, like, more like six videos or something. I do know, I forgot. But, but, yeah, that's beside the point. I I, I kind of want to like balance balance out my uh, video to subscriber ratio by making it like more equal, I guess. So I don't want to make like a, a ton of videos. But uh, and have the so, 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 subscriber so, 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 subscriber count be like lower than it should be, you know. So yeah, that's so yeah, that's that's mainly that's mainly why I haven't posted anything. Well. Being lazy and being, being lazy and the fact that I don't want to clutter clutter my channel with with stuff that doesn't really get me that doesn't really go anywhere you know or that I don't or, or that's like or that like nobody really cares about or whatever yeah I'm rambling again but like yeah like, yeah let's get, yeah let's get back to the album okay <laughs> track eight we got beside myself and. Now this is an okay song. I wouldn't really say it's my favorite, but, but I mean it's 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 still a good song. The, the, the riff and the vocals don't sound bad at all. And, and, and yeah, pushing to shove is up next. Track nine. This is probably a, this is probably a, a, a step up from tr from the last track. You, you know, it, it does sound a bit better, you know, production wise, and you know. The the riff is the riff is pretty. Good. I wouldn't say it's good as more than I ever wanted or misunderstood, but it's definitely up there. Okay, where the where the pain begins, track ten. Now this one is it's all right. It's, it's, it's not my, it's not my favorite on here, but it, it but it but it doesn't sound bad at all. Not uh, either. I, yeah, I mean, I'm starting to sound like a broken like record at, at, at this point, which is what I always sound like, but I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have much to say about these songs, to be quite, to, 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 be, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, Where the Pain Begins, the Where the Pain Begins is the Nora song. Now we've got the, the final track, Go. This one kind of starts off with with them like doing a a, a demo thing, or whatever, and then they go into the song with this with this song with this with the, with, the, with the pretty with this pretty cool uh, riff. You know, like something like something like that. It's a pretty it's a pretty it's honestly a pretty pretty a pretty good way to to end to end off the record. Okay, that was. Here's on the silver lining from two, from 2008, which I actually forgot some other. I I I, I, I remember what I talked about uh, hey Monday, so I'll, I'll tell you back in December. I said that that was one of my favorite albums from 2008, and I think I actually I actually, I actually kind of forgot simple. I I actually, I, I, I actually kind of forgot simple uh, plans simple plans subtitled was from 2008 and Scarlet. And Scarlet's two minutes from, from Theory of Dead Man was from that year too. I mean, 
I mean, now I can say that with certainty that, you know, Hold On Tight is, is my favorite record from, two, from, two, from 2008, but yeah. I mean, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Okay, so that, so that was that, that, that record. Now it's time for the scoring. Let's see. I'd give it about a 7 out of 10 because it's, it's not like nowhere near the, the previous re releases, but it's not bad yet, but it's not bad either. It has some good moments on it, like, you know, this, the, the one single misunderstood more than ever wanted. And, you know, songs like that. Yeah, I didn't have much to say. Yeah, I didn't have much to say. Much to say about the record. To to be honest, but but, but that's okay. And again, you know, I was gonna run. In this review, it has happened since I haven't done this in like almost two weeks. But yeah. All right, so that'll be about it for, for this video. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.